Alrighty then, on today's video we're gonna talk about the DMR and the terror that it's spreading on the matchmaking of Halo Reach. I'm kidding, but I do want to talk about the weapon's performance, especially from the point of view of someone who loves playing big team battle. Which brings me to the main point I wanted to talk about and I'm 100% sure that this topic is going to be a bit controversial. And that is that spawning with the DMR on all game types is going to hurt player retention in the long run and as such it should be changed. Now you may ask why would I say something so controversial considering the DMR is the staple weapon of Halo Reach. And before we dig into that statement I have to let you know that I don't hate the DMR, I actually like using it. My only gripe with it is the precise thing that Rich attempted to introduce to the Halo franchise, the Bloom. If the game had no Bloom, Rich could possibly be my favorite Halo title, but Bloom is not today's topic. As I said previously, as somebody who plays Big Team Battle due to how hectic, frenetic and dumb it can get, I am starting to see and share the opinion that the DMR starting loadout is getting stale very very fast. The funny thing about this idea is that this is not the first Halo title on PC that suffers from ranged weapon spam. Do you remember Halo Online slash El Diorito? If you played this version of Halo, especially last year when it blew up for a weekend before Microsoft nuked the ever loving shit out of anyone covering it, you probably came across very similar situations to the one currently developing on Reach. With VR spawns on Halo Online, people will rush to find the closest vantage point and camp the ever loving shit out of it while safely spamming the VR against any random player foolish enough to venture out of cover. This situation is magnified when multiple people were holding the same vantage point and your team or you failed to stop them from gathering momentum, or vice versa. Reach is following that same trend rather quickly. The worst maps that enable these situations, at least from my own experience, are Tempest, which I fucking hate, Reach Line, High Noon and sometimes Breakneck. The reason as to why they tend to be the worst is due to the fact that it's relatively easy to find a high point from which to have plenty of range to fire away at unsuspecting players. The only things that can stop you are the Bloom, running out of ammo and Reach's great spawn system. From my own experience, objective game types are lasting the full 15 minutes because people do not want to push. And why would you push anyways if as soon as you walk into the open, DMR rounds start hailing from every direction? It's more profitable to find a cozy spot in the beginning of the match and fire at unsuspecting players running around. Alrighty then, so instead of just narrating my own experience, let's talk about reducing the probability of the entire situation getting out of hand. And it's quite simple, and we are not going to beg for DMR nerfs, this game is almost 10 years old, there is little point in begging for nerfs in this year. Instead, let's approach the matter at hand from a different angle, I'd say 343 should introduce assault rifle slash magnum starts, you know, like it used to be at one point before the title update back when Rage was the latest Halo to hit the market. Now, I know that there's somebody out there who's already yawning at the thought of that, some of you probably rolled your eyes when you heard that, and to to be honest, I don't blame you. But there is a reason as to why I am saying this. Like my thought process is this. With people spawning with a DMR on their hands, there is little reason to venture out to secure other weapons. You have access to possibly the strongest precision weapon in the Bungie area of Halo games. It dominates at range, it trashes vehicles, it has higher magnification than its Covenant counterpart, and a single magazine has enough ammo to kill at least two players. At the end of the day, the DMR is still a skill weapon and I won't deny you the right to think that. It takes a skill to control the bloom and reach optimal time to kill. There is nothing quite as satisfying than getting multiple kills with a single DMR mag while remaining unchallenged because your opponents were too busy spamming the DMR instead of pacing their shots. But when everybody is spawning with such a weapon, it becomes less of a skill game and more about who found the cheekiest vantage point and has been waiting to catch someone in open ground where their best chance for survival is the campy rifleman missing their shots. And they are not wrong by playing like this, as the game literally enables them to keep doing it. And another important point is that this is a PC situation, I don't know how the console quotes, meta, is currently developing. This is a PC thing exclusively, this same thing used to happen back in El Dorito a year ago. We talked about it already, but I wanna highlight that statement because history seems to be repeating itself, as dramatic as that sounds. So the request I have, at least for victim battle, is to change the default loadout to assault rifle and the magnum, and have the DMR via pickup weapon. 
or introduce another game type that has this loadout as default that people can match make into instead of the standard DMR start or mix things up a little just like Elite Slayer is a rare game type I'd be happier to have a non-pro start every once in a while. Listen, my entire argument is that I don't need the DMR nerfed. I want to see more variety in the standard loadout when playing Victim Battle or any mode for that matter because plenty of the matches I've played are quickly devolving into long range engagements exclusively and that is very boring to play. I know that people will disagree with the hot take so know that I am open to hearing arguments against it. I know that Rich is fresh out of the oven on PC and that a lot of things are yet to fully develop but I simply cannot see myself or many others playing Victim Battle or Rich often if the starting loadouts are not changed, at least a little bit. And as much as I don't want to sound even more dramatic, I have a feeling that this situation with the precision rifle being the default spawn will become even worse when the rest of the games come out. And that's it for today's video. This is the point where I remind you to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content. We normally play Path of Exile on this channel, but with Halo on PC, I'm gonna be posting content on MCC here and there. Not all of the Halo content is gonna be like this one though, as I don't really enjoy criticizing things. Sometimes, at least. Anyways, with all of that being said, I'm out. Thanks for watching, remember to sub, rate and comment, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye bye